my IBD and all mm-hmm. these symptoms I keep having. Right. I feel like my prednisone's just not... Not doing it for do, you? Yeah. Okay. Good. Well, I wanted to talk to you today about maybe putting you on an additional drug that maybe could help reduce your inflammation. It's an immunosuppressant. It's called mercaptopurine. And I think it might help decrease your immune system activities that maybe we can eventually get you off the steroids. And then it might help your symptoms a little bit better, okay? Great. So I'll tell you a little bit about it. Um, It's basically, like I said, immunosuppressant. And so um, it has an important genetic component to it. And so I would actually refer you to genetic testing. And so the way it works is that your body metabolizes or gets rid of the drug. And it depends on if you have one of three different alleles. So you're either a good kind, which means you have one good allele, two good alleles, right? Okay, mm-hmm. so your body metabolizes it plenty. Fine. Okay. It gets rid of it really easily. The second is if you have one good and one bad, and that means your body doesn't get rid of it quite as well. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then the third would be if you had two bad alleles, and so basically your body does not get rid of the drug at all, so you get toxic levels really quickly. Oh. And so it's important that we get you tested so that we can make sure which one you have, and so when I prescribe the medicine to you, I can give you the right dosing. Okay. Does that all make sense so far? Yeah. So if I had the two bad ones, mm-hmm. would you still put me on it? Probably not. We would probably think about doing another um, form of treatment, maybe like methotrexate, which is another immunosuppressant, but it's okay. one that doesn't depend so much on that genetic component I was okay. telling you about. Gotcha. So um, we'll get a blood sample from you, and we would send it to a testing site, and they would send me back the results. And then based on that, I would put you on the drug, and then I would dose it accordingly. So mm-hmm. if you had the two good ones, you'd get the normal, which is just like one. 0.5 milligrams per kilogram a day okay and we would allow about two weeks for you to get to the normal level and you would also need frequent blood testing to make sure that your levels were okay and we can adjust from there okay and then if you have the one good and the one bad which means your body sort of gets rid of it okay mm-hmm. um, we would probably dose you 30 to 70 percent less so just something to think about and so um, some other impacts I want to talk to you about was um, like I said, you need to take them exactly as prescribed, and then um, I want to get your blood levels tested um, frequently while you're on the drug. So, okay. Any questions so far? Why do I have to get the blood levels drawn like so frequently? Just because uh, if you do go talk, even when you have the dosing that we put you on based on your genetic component, sometimes you know, if you don't take them right or if something happens, we can either go up or down if they're not working well. So some people can actually tolerate more drug, and it might need a little bit more for it to work in your body so that you can suppress your immune system and help your symptoms. Okay. Yeah. Um, I was also just, like, I'm a little nervous, like, Mm -hmm. hearing immunosuppressant. Like, Mm -hmm. is it dangerous? Um, Like, if we keep the levels constant and and we monitor them, you should be okay, but... You will have different symptoms based on it, so it will suppress your immune system, like you said. So you want to be careful when you're near people that are sick because you're at a higher propensity to get sick. Um, So lots of hand washing, stay away from people who you know or have a cold. Mm -hmm. And then also it can cause your red blood cell count to go down, so Mm -hmm. you could be at risk for bleeding. So I would make sure you avoided contact with, like, you know, razors, maybe start using an electric razor, okay. and then also being careful with any sort of sharp objects like knives, et cetera. So okay. um, that would definitely be that's a good question. Mm-hmm. So um, what else is... The only other thing mm-hmm. that I just am nervous about is, mm-hmm. like, is it going to be really expensive, like, put this mm-hmm. additional testing and... Yeah, and that's a good question, too. So the good thing about this particular um, test for the TPMT gene is that because there is such a genetic component to it, it is so important for how you dose the drug, um, the majority of insurances cover it. So we can definitely work with you and work with your insurance and make sure that they cover it for you. So that's the good news. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Great. So does that sound like a good plan? Yeah. Okay. Thank so, you so we'll much. work on getting that testing and then we'll work on getting you on this and hopefully getting your symptoms a little better. Oh, thank you. I know. <laughs> That'll be good news. All right. Well, you take care. All right. All right. Bye. Bye.